New tonight, an elementary school teaching assistant in Fairfax County is on administrative leave after allegedly assaulting a student with special needs. That incident happened last Friday, and Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcilla joins us live from outside Dogwood Elementary School. And Max, we're learning more from police about what happened. Well, we still don't know what happened inside the classroom for the during the alleged assault. But what we do know from police is that there were two witnesses, two people, two staff members walked into the classroom and witnessed the alleged assault. Now a tenure employee of the school is facing charges. Families of Dogwood Elementary School in Reston opened their inboxes Wednesday morning to find this email from Principal Kate Beckner. I am deeply saddened this morning. It begins. Beckner then shares details. An instructional assistant has been arrested and charged with assaulting a student in our school. Fairfax County Police confirmed the man is 60 year old Mark McDicken, who has worked at the school for about 10 years. They also say the student he's accused of assaulting has special needs. It's always incredibly disheartening um, to hear about something like this happening. Amanda Campbell is the president of the special education PTA in Fairfax County. She says children with disabilities are three times more likely to face abuse and neglect than their non disabled peers. There is an incredible amount of trust that we put in our staff when we send our kids to school um, and to rebuild in a moment like this will take some time. Dogwood Elementary's principal acknowledged that too, writing the primary responsibility for anyone who works in education is the safety and well-being of children. When that trust appears to be broken, it affects us all. Campbell says consistent communication is needed and more qualified staff, especially during this era of staffing shortages, which she says is not new in special education. Really speaks to the need to focus our efforts on special education to ensure that our most vulnerable students have trained, certified, um, well-supported staff in the classroom. Campbell says the first step in restoring trust was a quick response, which she believes FCPS has done. It took less than a week from the incident to the charges being filed to the notice to the community. Now, as for Mac Dickin, he was released on signature. Basically, what that means is that he promises he'll come back for his day in court. We did go to the Fairfax County Courthouse, but records, court records for this incident were not yet available. Again, this is such a new incident. We'll have more as we learn more. Reporting live from Reston, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.